We are on the main route again, in the junction called Yugusko Hanche. Here is also the confluence of Čepelarska and Yugusko rivers. There is a nice restaurant here, designed in traditional style and offering local Rhodopian food. From here, the main road proceeds on the valley of Čepelarska river to the village of Narečen and an important resort called Narečenski Bani. Narečenski Bani is known for its mineral water. It is not a crowded resort full of tourists and attractions, but a place for recovering of sick people. There are several springs with mineral water, each of them with different features. Let's take a walk around the center of Narečenski Bani.
From here we go to the most popular of the mineral water springs in the Rechenski Bani. It is called the Ice Spring. A short trail leads to the Ice Spring. Its name comes from the water's future that can recover various sicknesses including eye diseases. This is the ice spring. Its water is cold with a specific taste. We proceed to the next spot. A few kilometers after Narechenski Bani we reach another side road. This road leads to one of the most beautiful villages in the central Rodopis, the village of Kosovo. Kosovo was established in the 17th century by refugees escaping from the Islamization in this part of the Rodopis. The village reached its golden age in the 19th century, but later it gradually declined and was almost abandoned. But in recent years, its beautiful old traditional architecture surrounded by beautiful nature drew attention and a new process of restoration began. Today many of its old houses are restored. Some of them are turned into guest houses for tourists and gradually Kosovo not only back to life but turned into a tourist destination. After Kosovo, we will proceed on our route along the Chepevaska River Valley. We are going to see more villages, some natural and ancient sites. So follow us in this route in the central Rodopis and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.